it's Catherine and I'm back today with another liquored and lacquered. On my nails is the same as last time I did a whole video. It's this beautiful bees knees lacquer and it's space garbage and it is beautiful in two coats there on my nails. So holographic and off to the side I, I do have my glass of wine and today I am showing you uh, a haul from a couple of different places. These are polishes that I, I was looking at for a while and I finally pulled the trigger on. So basically semi lemmings kind of. So uh, some of them I've been looking at for at least 18 months and I finally decided to get them. So um, if you want to see any of the polishes on this swatch wheel, um, this was from a couple of liquid lacquers ago. I can't remember what order I'm putting these up. It's either last week or the week before. But yeah, you'll find the playlist um, on my channel. So let's start with this Estee Lauder polish. Now Estee Lauder is like 35 francs here, but I picked this up at half price in a pharmacy. And I couldn't believe it actually, it was, it's still expensive, but I've been looking at it for ages. This is called Smashed and it's a purple base, but it's got this color shifting um, purple to a gold shimmer in there, which is very hard to see in this very thick bottle. I think you can just see it there around the edge. So we're going to look at it. And I can't, I don't know what it did with the box. It comes in a, go, in a navy box and I cannot find it. But yeah, just in case you don't know what Estee Lauder polishes are like, this is it here. Look at that shimmer, it's so beautiful. Nice little kind of short brush. It's not completely flat, but it's not too narrow either. So, oh, whoa, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's, I thought it was, I was, I'm so happy because I thought this is gonna be a bit too dark. Um, but that shimmer is really, really pretty. Let's just put this in right here so you can see it. I think it's definitely gonna take um, three coats. I didn't do a great job swatching there, but I'll build it up for you so you can see it. Look at that shimmer, absolutely stunning. So that's smashed. And um, I don't have very many Estee Lauder polishes, but I really like the ones that I have. Of all my high-end brands, this is definitely the best brand, I think. Um, I haven't been disappointed with any of them. And then I picked up, I was in a different pharmacy and they were selling OPI half price, which never happens here. And I picked up two polishes that I've been looking for. This is Rose of Light from OPI. Look at the hollow, the hollow square glitters in there. So you've got holographic gold uh, square glitters and then a gold um, circle glitter or hex glitter maybe in there. Absolutely sparkle heaven. And I just realized I probably should have put down a base for this, but what I'll do is I'll swatch it on the nail and I'll just come back later with um, a color underneath. So let's see what this looks like. It's definitely not gonna, it's definitely a topper. It's not gonna build up or anything, but I'll, make sure to put a base color underneath it so you can see it afterwards. But yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, and anyone who has been watching my channel for a while knows that I love my toppers. Look at those square glitters. Absolutely adore this. So that's Rose of Light. And um, yeah, I'll come back with a base color underneath. It's so sparkly. This is definitely one of the sparkliest uh, toppers I own. Apologies if you can hear banging by the way, they're doing something to the roof outside. I don't know what they're doing. It's very late in the evening to be working. Anyway, the other OPI I picked up, um, another one of my guilty pleasures is Miss Piggy. Absolutely love Miss Piggy and this is called Excuse Moi. And if you remember, last summer I went to my friend's wedding and I bought my Miss Piggy Kate Spade bag with me and uh, this is the kind of color it's a little bit darker but it's got this dark um kind of almost magenta pink in here and then there seems to be a red glitter and a silver glitter too all very small so i'm not sure if this can be built up i have wanted this for a while and i believe i saw it as a topper but uh i oh no it can be built up oh beautiful uh this is going to be so cool oh already in love with this it's gonna look brilliant with the bag actually so yeah it, it's it's a little bit stinky it's an old polish but 
happy to get it for Miss Piggy. And the final three polishes that I picked up are all Indies. Um, it was a buy one, uh, get one half price on um, the Indies. But I must have made a mistake. Uh, oh, I think I bought one of the A. Ingleton's from Live Love Polish. No, Harlow and Co. Oh well, anyway, um, this is from Live Love Polish and this is Super Chic Lacquer. Now, I bought a couple of Super Chic Lacquers last year and uh, I've kind of, I've seen swatches of Realm of Erotica and I've been looking for a holographic red and I had a really long conversation with Claire about this because both of us were looking for a proper true red holographic and um, both of us were hoping that this would be it. Um, it's hard to make apparently and uh, so I'm hoping this is the red that I've been looking for. Sometimes they're too orange, sometimes they're too pink. So let's see. I mean, so far so good. This is what I've been looking for. Now, I believe there are two versions of this, like a pinker one and then this redder one. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm very happy with this. And it looks like it's gonna be one coat. So I am really happy with this. That's Realm of Erotica. Very excited about that. And then the other one that I was looking at is this one. And again, just decided, well, when they're buy one, get one half price, I might as well get it. This is Swoon and it's a beautiful um, pink holographic. There we go. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So again, let's have a look here. Probably could do with a shake up to be fair, but we'll try it out. It's uh, a purple toned pink. Oh my God, the coverage is beautiful. Absolutely love this as well. There you go. Look at that pink. That's gorgeous. I love that color. It's a very jewel toned pink. Um, yeah, love, love, love that. So there are the two super chic lacquers. And then finally, um, yeah, I made a mistake. I've definitely bought an A England half price and I think it could have been the Catherine of Aragon one. That's my bad. Anyway, um, because I definitely these are so expensive fun lacquer that I definitely didn't want to pay um, full price for it. This is called Guest the Guest List and I've been looking at this for a while. Look at that purple. It's so pretty and it's a very blue toned kind of uh, lavender or lilac maybe. I think it's more of a lilac. But this is beautiful and it's got a blue shimmer in it and then a gold glitter. I hope you can see that there. This is really, really pretty. Very unusual. And I do like the fun lacquers that I have, but they are quite pricey. So let's, yes, okay, great formula. Love it, love it, love it. That gold is super on the nail. It really comes out. Oh, I hope you can see that there. Very, very nice for spring. I think that might be the polish I'll wear to Japan. Absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> So happy with this haul. Oh, that's two good hauls there that I've had. Um, not that I, I'm ever really that disappointed, but this is really pretty. All right, guys and girls, I'll do a second and third coat where needed, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back with a second coat on everything. I am so happy with all of these polishes. Let's start over here with the Estee Lauder polish, and I really wish... Uh, my camera would pick up on this shimmer a little bit more. It's so pretty. I really hope you can see that there. I think this is going to be more of a winter polish, but it's just such a deep wine color. It's not as purple as I thought it would be, but that kind of purple wine, like a wine with lots of lovely tannins in it. This is beautiful. The shimmer is amazing. I think I'll be holding off on that until the autumn but it's beautiful. That's Smashed by Estee Lauder. Absolutely gorgeous. The shimmer in that is so beautiful. So that's it in the second coat. Um, underneath, I didn't add any more to the topper. I just added a base color underneath. The base color I used was Raspberry Taffy from H&M. So that's it there in one color. And that was oh, this one here from OPI, which is Rose of Light. 
so sparkly. I mean, maybe I should have added a second coat there, but I think you can get the idea of how sparkly it is. It's so pretty. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And next door to that is Excuse Moi, which is from um, OPI as well. Gorgeous full coverage glitter that is full text. It's going to be a bit textured, I should say. And I just wanted to show it to you against uh, Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel, which came out in the Hello Kitty collection. Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel is definitely more uh, uh, purple toned pink. The Excuse Moi is way more um, pinky or rosy in tone. And also it has those kind of bigger glitters. So yeah, it's a bit different. So just in case you were wondering, because I was wondering, so there you go in two coats. It's going to make a lovely accent nail. And then next to that, I added a second coat to um, Realm of Erotica. Now I can definitely see the hollow here and it is beautiful. I think you can just see it in the bottle. I can never catch it on the ring light, but there you go. Absolutely stunning. And that's it in two coats. I mean, I find I need two coats on most things, even when they're one coaters, because I have such strong ridges. But yeah, I think this red may have solved my hollow uh, red need. Um, I'm really impressed with the pink from Super Chic Lacquer. This is Swoon. I'm really, really impressed with the um, the hollow in this. It's so pretty. I think you may even be able to see it in this ring light. Absolutely gorgeous. And then a standout for me is this from Fun Lacquer. Again, two coats. And it that the gold and blue in it I bought it because I love the base color but the gold and blue in it are they're just beautiful they're so pretty it's such an unusual combination and I absolutely love it so yeah very successful semi lemming haul or polishes that I've been watching for a while are there any polishes you've been watching for a while that you haven't you know pull the trigger on you haven't yet bought um or you've just kept adding them to your basket back and forth because most of these polishes especially the indie versions were definitely polishes that i've been trying to get hold of or uh passing back and forth through various checkouts so i'm very very pleased with all of these actually those two would look good together wouldn't they hmm so yeah absolutely adoring this um haul let me know if there are any uh semi lemmings that you have you know that i really only have one lemming which is fragile from ilmasca which i still haven't been able to get a hold of but say la vie very happy with all of these and um yeah that's it i'm gonna head off i'll talk to you all again soon bye